Hi everybody, it's Hannah from Is It Bad? Thank you so much for tuning in last week to our episode on Is It Bad If I Chip My Enamel Dutch Oven? We really appreciate your comments and there were some great questions in there that I want to talk about today. Um, a couple of you asked about, well, Dutch oven is typically made with a cast iron core, but what about um, if your enameled cookware has a stainless steel or an aluminum core? Like, are those still safe to use after you chip them? Um, and the general guideline is that, yeah, if they're you know, if a bare aluminum pot or a bare stainless steel pot is safe to use, then it's okay. Um, aluminum and cast iron are going to be reactive with salty or really acidic things, and stainless steel won't react with, it, with anything, so it's probably fine. That said, I asked Le Creuset this question because they do enameled cookware also in stainless steel, and they said they do not recommend using the pot anymore if you chip one of theirs. And the thing with aluminum is the jury is a little, a little, uh, a little out there. There are some unresolved questions with how safe aluminum is to use. The toxicology is not very well nailed down on it. Um, so I would contact the manufacturer of your pot directly and, and ask what they recommend you do. Um, a lot of people also asked about normal wear and tear. Like, um, I think, let's see, Sandy Bean was wondering what happens if my pot isn't shiny anymore? Is there any way to bring it back shiny? and um, J.J. Austin asked about wear streaks from, from cleaning. And I talked to Le Creuset about both of those things, too. And they said it's just normal wear and tear, and it's the pot's still fully functional. Um, so it might not look perfectly new, but it's totally fine. And there are a couple things. It could be just the surface actually wearing down from being rubbed on. But it also might be, um, what did they say? limestone sediment. You might have it in your water and that can be causing a, the finish to go from shiny to matte. And it could also be soap scum buildup. So if your finish of your pot is getting matte and you don't like that and you want to see if you can bring it back to being shiny, you can try treating it with a vinegar and water solution is what they recommend. Um, but honestly, that's just cosmetic. So we don't think it's that big of a deal. Our pots here are all pretty dark on the bottom, actually. Um, so, but if you want to try, you can try a vinegar solution to see if it'll come back to its shiny luster. Um, SS commented that their Staub Dutch oven fell off the top of the fridge. That sounds so dangerous and so scary. So I hope no one was hurt there. Um, on that note, uh, a couple people asked, can you get a Dutch oven reglazed? Um, I talked to Le Creuset and they don't reglaze. Re so I'm not saying that no one can do it. Maybe some guy's got a reglazing workshop somewhere, but um, it's not a common thing. Um, Harold Ellis commented and said he's still using his mom's pan since the 1960s, which I thought was so cool. Those pans are 80 years old now. He said they're chipped, but they're still growing strong. So that's awesome. Talk about a good investment, 80 years. Um, John Reese asked, is it bad if my stainless steel pans are getting brown around the edges? And no, that's not a bad thing. It's just probably a little buildup. Um, if the bottom starts to get really dark, it can encourage things to stick more and it can affect your visibility. So like if you're making brown butter, it's hard to see where the butter is in the browning if it's too dark. So if you do want to clean this up and get rid of it, we find Barkeeper's Friend is awesome for that kind of thing. It cleans it right up. Um, and a couple of you guys asked about repairing chips, which honestly we've, we haven't tried. Um, I would think that like the raising and lowering of the temperature, you need some seriously durable glue and the glue would have to be food safe. Um, and solid enough that you could really scrub the pot to get it clean. So um, we haven't tried this. If you do try it and have good results, please let us know because we'd, we'd love to hear about it. Oh, we also talked about Le Creuset to get a few tips of what you can do to keep your enamel in really good shape and they, and they had some pointers. They said always use medium to medium low heat when cooking. Cast iron is an efficient conductor of heat, so high heat can be achieved at medium settings. Okay. Uh, avoid abrasive cleaning product, products. I think this means like um, steel wool, <laughs> that kind of thing. Comet, stuff like that. You don't want to put that in your Dutch oven. And they said choose heat resistant silicone or wood utensils over med metal utensils. Okay. Um, and after cooking, allow the pot to cool slightly before placing it in cool water to clean. Okay. This is how 
I really messed up my Dutch oven. I was making noni bread. It sounds like one of our commenters, Jeff Webb, sort of did the same thing. Lived in a tiny apartment, took it out of the oven. I didn't have anywhere else to put it, so I put it in the sink, and the water in the sink, the super hot pot, boom, it just shattered the whole thing. So that's a total bummer. You have to watch out for serious temperature swings, and moisture will exacerbate the problem. So try not to uh, put a really hot pot into cold water. That'll definitely cause a problem. Roberts, a commenter, Roberts459, had a cool spoon trick. Let's see. This is what... Okay. So here's a really chipped Dutch oven. This is a, there's a major chip down the bottom there, but that's not the one I'm talking about. I'm talking about these ones all around the rim. See this? So I do this to my pot all the time because I like to, what do they call it, a, a boarding house clear. When you wrap your spoon on the pot to get rid of the stuff that's on your spoon, I do this all the time. They call it, I've heard, also heard it called the lunch lady clear. You just whack, whack right on there. I do it all the time. It's just like, it's how I like to cook. It's faster. I don't care a ton about my pot. But Roberts 459 had a great tip. Said you wrap it on your hand over the pot to clear the spoon. So I'm going to try that. Kind of hurt though. I got to practice, I guess. I don't know. It kind of hurts. I... <laughs> Maybe that's what you do. I don't know. You can give it a, give it a shot if you want to. All right. And then a couple of you also asked about what happens if your nonstick skillet flakes off or fat chips. And that's a really great question. We have a whole episode coming up on nonstick skillet, so you'll have to tune in for that. Uh, next week, though, we have: Is it bad to use soap on my cast iron skillet? This is a big one. You hear this a lot. So, like, is it? really bad. Sometimes there's stuff stuck in my skillet and it's like, well, what's my option here? <laughs> like put it out for the birds to pick off? Like, no, you have to get it clean. So what are you going to do if scrubbing isn't enough, if scrubbing's not working? Like, do you have any options? Can you use a little bit of soap? We'll investigate. So thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, check out our video next week and uh, that's it. Okay. Bye.